back. Let's continue this adventure. Was he there all the time? <laughs> what? Was he there all this time and I didn't see him until now? The other, there were other players standing right here in the last video, wasn't it? I didn't see him. Is he okay? Oh, that was a weird sound. That was a really weird sound. Um... Alan and Alex weren't part of this at all, were they? <laughs> I, I just started thinking that they might have not been there at all, and I was like, where is Alan and Alex? And, you know, but maybe. Maybe they weren't part of the ritual at all? Ah, oh, I forgot to turn off that. Sorry. No, what? No, I have turned it off because I haven't stopped the game since last time. Of course. Well, let's go to, back to Vale then. Weren't Alex and Anne there at all? I'm not gonna cancel this recording or stop this recording just to actually look back on the other video though. Uh, Vale Dale. Yes. That's where I was it. I kind of forgot. One of the Barbies are still here. Oh my, not just pink clothes and stuff. Pink hair too. You got a... what they call it? Um, I don't know what you call it in English actually. Can I go up here? Oh, that was steep. I'm kind of afraid that I wouldn't be able to do it. Don't want to get caught for a copyright. And we're in. <laughs> Alex is here. And Tinkan. But I can't see anyone else here. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to press like as if I'm about to gallop with my horse, but hello, I'm not with my horse right now. <laughs> His noises are a little bit annoying. Could they have uh, bit cuter sounds? Well, Alex and Tin Khan were right outside. <laughs> They're gonna get in trouble now, aren't they? They're already in trouble, aren't they? Although Alex was right outside, but that's, that might be a bug. 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, join the bike. Talking is so boring. I feel like these videos have been basically just talk and no action. So, You doubted us? How dare you? I'm offended now. <laughs> yeah, actually. And uh, there she is. Alex, at least, and where are they? Frick, is Anne. Where's Anne? For what's next? Oh, what's next? I guess we might have to wait and see in like um, a year for that. <clears throat> When the time is right, people, at least another year to wait. <laughs> I can almost bet on that. It's gonna take a year until a new story quest comes, right? Or longer. Oh, uh, really? Is that it? Did I make just a short video just for this? I'm gonna improvise then. Is there anything we can do? What time is it? Time for a race. No, a race has just been darn. Um, then I really don't know what to do, guys. Um, ooh, boom. Sure. This one will definitely be shorter than the previous video. Because I don't think there is anything else to do now. We could... Uh, we're at the Pandorian uh, portal today, on Wednesdays. Uh, I don't remember where the Pandorian portals are at all, actually. Hold on. We could go to Pandora just a little while. Because um, I'm curious to see if there has been any changes there. I don't think they have mentioned it. Pandorian portals. This is all. No, not Pandar P Pandorian rifts, Pandorian portals. Okay, you call it rifts in this page. Um, Wednesday, Epona. Okay, I think I know where it is. I'm not sure though, but. Uh, all players may not know this, but you, um, probably not all players can do this, but once you have unlocked Pandoria, I guess, you can go back to Pandoria unless, of course, you're under a quest that would, for some reason, not allow you to do so. But there are portals to Pandoria every day. Um, they're changing between different places in the Bona and the Harvest counties, apparently. 
Um, oh, my hair is tickling me. After I. I, I think I know where it is, but I'm not sure because I um, have remembered to see it over here. So that's a different portal, isn't it? Portal to Dino Valley. This portal is over here. Yeah, this portal goes to Dino Valley. You can clearly see that by the green and yeah, it looks a lot like the one in Dino Valley. There is supposed to be another portal in Epona or the Harvest Counties at every day. Um, I have to have a look again. Oh, we got the um, M. Thank you. 109. Uh, Three, thirty six. Out there. Uh, I can't see the beam at the moment, though. Might be a little bit difficult without that. Might have been an idea to actually get up high, up a little bit higher than here, though, because as I said, with you can't see anything here with the bog. I hate the wooden stalks. Oh, I saw it. There was a glimpse of it. Ah, see it again. I see it. I see it. But okay, as soon as I turn the camera up a little bit, it disappears. Not anymore, though. I'm apparently, fairly close then. Is there a portal around there? I can't remember that. Uh... Oh, here it is. Time and space. Uh, oh. What was that uh, sound? <laughs> what was it? So far, I can't see any changes, but of course, I think SSO would have uh, said something if they had updated Pandoria. But there is one thing that's supposed to be changed with Pandoria, and that is you're now capable of taking any horrors to Pandoria. That happened a few weeks ago. Uh, because before, you could only bring your starter horse to Pandoria, but now you should be able to bring any horse. So, if you haven't been to Pandoria before, I would recommend it. It's not entirely the same as it is in um, in Starshine Legacy. I mean, first of all, Starshine Legacy is a way older game, so the graphics are, of course, quite different. Uh, but this is a very, very confusing map in comparison to the Starshine Legacy maps. Um, and there is a place in Starshine Legacy that we can't see uh, when taking the portal to Pandoria in SSO, which I think is kind of sad because that place is epic, but they've sort of made a recreation of it in SSO. I can also go there so that you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know, I'll find the portal again, so I'm just gonna do this. That is the thing that you can do if you get lost in Pandora. You can just um, swap back to the portal that you came through. Also, uh, in case you didn't know, you have to be a little bit aware of certain creatures here. Sounds like the Halloween pumpkin. 
But why is there a pumpkin sound on the way to Pandora? That's a good question. Which I can't answer. I'm just gonna end the video by going to the place that I was talking about. Because in Starshine Legacy number 3, where you're playing as N, there is a place that I um, really find awesome. Um, and as I've said, they've sort of created a recreation of that place in SSO, but not in Pandoria, and also it's just a small part of it that they've just sort of made Yurvikian instead of Pandorian. So the version that they have in SSO is quite boring in comparison to the version they have in Star Trek Legacy, if you ask me. Um, where do I have to go? No, I know. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> My horse is stuck. To go back here, actually. Stop doing that. Let's go, let's go. Mm, very close now. And most people who have done the same quest as I have, and I'm talking about story quest now, um, they know about this place, but of course, I'm just gonna... All of you may not have been playing uh, Starshine Legacy, but of course, you could take a look at... Um, now they're suddenly here. <laughs> Apart from Anne. Where did Anne go? Seriously, where did she go? She's suddenly gone. Oh no, what's happened to Anne? But anyway, the place that you go to in Starshine Legacy as Anne is in Pandora and this place is basically a replica of it. Um, but as I've said, this is Jorvikian. It's placed in Jorvik, not in Pandoria. So it's not anywhere near the same as the one that you find in Starshine Legacy, because in Starshine Legacy it's all Pandorian stuff. And after you've passed the horses, you can continue on. And there is a staircase, yes, in that game. Um, and then you walk through sort of a mine shaft or something like that. Uh, and then you come to an open area with um, a lot of mysteries. That's where you're gonna save a dear friend. And anyone who has read um, at least the first two books of the Soul Rider series, and anyone who's been playing Starship Legacy know exactly which friend that is. Another thing in Starship Legacy is that you also get um, inscriptions that you can read here. So I just wish that this place would have been in Pandora and that we actually could have... Because it, it's supposed to be in Pandora. <laughs> so I guess that's why I'm saying that this is not SSO adopting this place into Jorvik instead of Pandoria. I think it's just a Jorvikian uh, replica of the Pandorian version. Yeah, this is a theory. I don't know though. It's a theory. So let me know what you guys think. If it's uh, just as so who have decided to make this place Jorvikian instead of Pandorian, or if they have decided to make it a. I think it was. It was. Uh, about a portal over there back then, back before, but it's still Jorvikian. 
Okay, so let me know if you think uh, that is so has, tr has truly adopted this place into a, a European place, or if it's just a European replica of it. So when you go through the portal, which should have been there, you will eventually get to the um, Pandorian version of it. Another thing is that uh, you go from the stone circle to get to that place in Starshine Legacy. And the stone circle is supposed to be, according to the Starshine original games, is supposed to be on a tall mountain in uh, an area far up here, which has obviously not been unlocked um, in this game because uh, the winter game uh, map. If you ha have the books, you can look at the map, which it, which you can find there. And it's called Winter Valley or something, and that is the valley that uh, Starshine Two, the Winter Riders, is going on in. And there you can climb on a mountain where you find the sa Sacred Stone Circle. And in Starshine Legacy, that's where you actually have the portal to Pandora, and we used to have that in SSO2, but for those who can't remember, something went wrong with that Pan Pandorian portal. So now instead of climbing on a mountain to get to a stone circle, we're basically just finding another portal to take us there. But anyway, guys... I guess... That's it for this, this story quest. Um, it was shorter than I hoped for and far less exciting than I hoped for. It was something for sure, but um, could have been more. Am I right? Why are the stars showing? They're supposed to be hidden. But they're not? Why not? Why not? No, they are. Good. So, uh, yeah. That's it for this story quest, and that's it for the, these three videos. But, before I go, I just want to say something. I have a message for my Norwegian followers, and it will be in Norwegian. So, on Monday, Norwegian, Norwegian, <laughs> sorry, unnskyld. På mandag så er det en speciell dag for oss i Norge. Og nu er det altså sånn at uh, omstendighetene uh, lar oss ikke feire sånn som vi ønsker, sånn som vi skulle ha gjort det, men jeg håper at det tross for det, så vil dere ha en nydelig 17. mai-feiring. Gratulerer med dagen, Norge! Bye!